student trustee of Mount Sac. The reason why I decided to run for the position is because I've been um, AS, Associated Students, for the past two years, and I've seen ways that AS can improve immensely. Um, my biggest goal, once I become student trustee, if I become student trustee, is to keep the students aware of what's happening on campus. Students, many students don't know of what Proposition 30 was, or of such other issues that occurred in the past, such as the uh, parking permit raise that was going to go up $10. Students don't know these and it's really important for them to understand what's going on on campus because if they don't know, then how are we going to know their voice? How are we going to know their opinion of what they believe is right for them? We will be having a weekly updated website where we go and explain in video what's happening on campus and what's happening in Associated Students. And as a team, we really want to support the students and we want to advocate for them properly. Thank you. My name is Vinay Valadis and I'm running for the VP of Activities for Team STEM. Now, for one of my goals as VP of Activities, I want to create more events for students that are beneficial to them. So, one of our goals is to create an event called the um, Major Panels. And what that consists of is, let's say you're a philosophy major, business major, or psychology major. We're going to have professionals who know, who have pursued um, those careers, and students could go up to them and ask them questions. So that they could ask them, you know, how did that career um, work with you? How what, what got you there? Just as philosophy, a lot of people um, who are philosophy majors, they don't know what to do with that major. And we want to um, bring profe professionals who can answer those questions for those individuals. Yeah, one of the main problems that Mount Sac students are having is uh, building a connection. A connection between the students who, represented, who represent them, which is associated students, and themselves. I feel that the lack of communication prevents us from truly uh, understanding the issues that each student has and from our part actually addressing the issues that um, they're concerned about. So one of the things uh, that I mentioned before was that I want to foster leader leadership through service and doing so um, as associated students I want to lead by example. Leading uh, the members um, of the board, the executive board, as well as the senators through uh, fostering that leadership through service so that we can effectively effectively serve the students and so they feel like we've truly represented them. Thank you. So, uh, what explain what STAND stands for. Like, what, what is exactly the meaning behind STAND? Okay, well, STAND, uh, STAND is an acronym. It stands for Students Take the Union. Now, the reason we chose this name is because, as it is, even though we have not been elected, we've taken a new direction. How? Well, we've actually taken the initiative to talk to professors, talk to uh, department chairs, talk to even other universities such as Cal Poly. We've met with the presidential cabinet, Christine and Christopher, and discussed ideas, developed ideas, as well as discussed the goals that we have now, so that there are, we ensure that they are attainable goals. We ensure that the goals are going to happen because know that we can make them happen and they are possible. What is the main importance of STAND? What is your message that you're trying to, to oh, give for STAND? I think the main connection, the main connection I'm going to is bring the connection with the students. I think that's the major problem that like you said in the open forum. Um, we want to create a culture of the students so we actually know what the problems are. Um, we can't represent the students if we don't know the students. I think that's a major issue. And that's what we want to do at Student Hands. We want to get to know the students and we want to hear their voice. Which is, that's how we want, that's what we want to chat with representatives. That's one of our ideas. Um, throwing events that we want to do. That's where students come to speak to the president and student trustee. And they can ask them like the issues like, oh, what are you going to do for the person? Or are you going to do for budget? There's a lot of information that they don't know. We want to give them events. And we want to hear what other problems that we're unaware of. And I um, thought to, you know, form a team so that we can make a difference and we can take a new direction. So uh, the reason we started two months ahead, almost three months, is because we really wanted to choose individuals that were not actively involved, but who were doing something with the positions they, they held, such as, you know, some senators and other people that have held high positions in groups like ACS and um, other companies that are also involved. So I think that the fact that we actually uh, took the time necessary to really carefully choose the uh, representatives that we would like to be seated at the board. What are the future plans of STAND for students? The future plan of STAND is, well, I'm going to take that on the platform. Sure. platform is the awareness, eco feminist, and campus, um, campus involvement. And what we want to do with those is, I feel like awareness is a major issue that we've been taking. Now, with awareness, we want to create a website where it's continuously um, updated. Um, where, it, where things like that concern the students are presented. There's all these programs. There are many resources on campus. 
somewhere. Um, for campus involvement, what we want to do is create a, a major panel. And in that major panel is we want to have a um, major professional sit on the panel of a certain major, whether it be philosophy, business, psychology, um, communication, where students could go and um, ask the professionals what they did with this degree. And we want more things to be informed. We want them to be able to ask them and even other listeners. And the way we'd be doing that is you know, there are a lot of professionals and professors here on campus that actually have jobs on the side. And you know, like I know my professor, um, college professor actually has practice um, outside of, of his job as a professor. And those are people I want to ask, ask you know, like how did you get there? What did you do? What did you do to get there? Um, with eco feminist I think a major thing is also awareness. Um, we don't know, we don't know how to do a lot of people don't even know what eco feminist is. Um, you may get the main, um, the typical definition of recycling, but there's so much more to eco feminist and that's what we put into individuals um, such as uh, Craig Peterson, uh, the facilities director on campus, who is part of the set of events, so you can see what are the problems. Um, we can't, we can't speak for something that we know something about. So that's what we put the initiative for you, people who do know what we're talking about. And why is it important for students to vote? What do you say? Both of you can answer. It's really important for students to vote because, you know, a lot of students do have concerns and want to express their concerns. And what better than to express them through voting? Voting the right people in, voting the people who are actually going to take time to hear the issues that they have and actually address the issues that, you know, they're worried about, that concern them, and truly affect them. So I think that voting is very important when it comes to hearing. That's the way you're going to um, truly hear your voice. My name is Gracie Martinez and I'm running for Vice President of Activities. My team is called the Students Team and we're all about the students. And the Students Team stands for Together Everyone Achieves More. Three of our main goals consist of raising money to help students. It's essentially what it is. One of our main ideas is the Book Bank, which we've already talked to head departments of the library and the student store to make this happen. We worked with them a specific plan to push this through. However, we need to be moving in in order to make it work. In addition to this, we want to raise money for student scholarships, such as $6,500 more dollars. We divide it up to the book scholarship and bus scholarship and various other scholarships offered. Plus, we want to be a little eco-friendly. In accordance with this, we want to help make the recyclables that students use go straight to scholarships. So, you drink a water bottle, you throw it out, that money goes straight to a student. Overall, the students team collectively works together. We've been at Mount SAC for about two to three years. We've all had experience and not just associated students, but also been officers of various clubs on campus. We've been tutors, peer advisors, and supplemental instructors. So we've gotten a wider variety of student population to understand that we've been with, that we've talked to, and just to learn more about. So, like I said, vote for the students team because the students team is who understands the students. Why is it important for, for students to vote for you guys? It's important for students to vote for us because we are the non-biased student representation that does not favor any group, any organization, or anything on campus. We are just students here for the students.